Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at some of the different variations of the AQS1 uh, which are possible. If you have a look at these two here, uh, both of these AQS1s are configured uh, with gas only. You can see that we don't have the PM inlet uh, on the side here and they've been, they've been capped to make them uh, weatherproof. This particular configuration here has the PM uh, and the gas and finally this particular configuration here has the PM only. So we're going to have a quick look inside and just see uh, how some of the different uh, configurations of the AQS1 look on the inside. Okay, just to make the comparison a little bit easier, what we're going to do is remove the doors. Okay, so now we have the doors off, it's a little bit easier to have a look in, uh, at the inside. So let's take a quick look first of all at the two AQS1s which are configured with gas only. So the first one we're going to have a look at is the uh, AQS1 configuration uh, which only has ozone. So you can see here the EPC, we have a modem. Uh, but there's no uh, PM pump module or no PM engine and no PM electronics module but we do have a single uh, ozone module connected to the central pump and we have a single uh, manifold with filter. This is the second example of an AQS1 uh, which only has gases. In this particular example we have an ozone and uh, an ox module. This gives the uh, calculated NO2. Again, we have no PM, uh, no pump module, so the inlet for the PM uh, is capped with a weatherproof cap. Uh, we do have the, uh, the inlet for the gas, the sample filter and the manifold, and the two gas modules and the central sampling pump. Here we have uh, an AQS1 which configure, is configured with everything. So uh, we have the, the nephilometer engine, we have the uh, ozone module, we have the ox module, uh, we have the uh, auxiliary module for, uh, for a weather station and of course the central PC. So this is a fully configured uh, AQS1 with gas and with uh, PM. And finally here we actually have a, an AQS1 which is configured with PM only. This is very similar to our standard dust entry, uh, it doesn't, doesn't have any gas sampling. But as you can see, it does have uh, a gas sampling inlet uh, ready uh, to be attached. So uh, you can order the AQS one with, with PM only. You can see there's no pump module down here, there's no inlet filter. We just have the PM uh, sampling system and we have plenty of space to add gas modules later if you need to. So now we're going to have a quick look and see how easy it is to add uh, gas to an AQS1 which was originally configured at the Aerocore factory with just PM. So in this particular example this AQS1 has a nephilometer installed and the pump module and has a space ava available for gases. Uh, you can order uh, an AQS1 gas kit from Aerocore after you've installed this on site. We'll ship you the components and then you can install the gas modules yourself. And this video is going to give you a, a demonstration of how that's done in the field. Alright guys, so you can see how easy it is to add gases into an AQS1 in the field. So thanks Jeremy for showing us how simple that was. No worries. <laughs> okay. okay, so now we're going to have a look and see how easy it is to add a uh, particle monitor uh, to an AQS1 which only has gas. This particular example, uh, AQS1 has the ozone and NO2 measurement, it has a blanking plug in place for the PM, so you would receive this unit from Aerocore if you only ordered gas. And uh, if you order the uh, PM system afterwards, uh, it's quite easy to install that in the field yourself. So I'm going to invite Jeremy back again, and he's going to show us how easy it is to add the particle monitor in the field.
Okay guys, so you can see how easy that was and quick. That took less than a minute. So uh, thanks again, Jeremy, uh, for showing us how easy it is to add the particle monitor in the field. No worries.